Hi, I'm Lynn with Katie Lynn's Creations. It's been a couple weeks since I have made a video and been busy crazy. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, but if you like the content, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll try and do more. I do have to work on some other things, um, but working a full-time job, I don't always have time to do my side business stuff and it gets out a little ways. So maybe one day I'll have more time, but right now this is what we've got. And so I have a program that I use to edit designs and it is so what pro pretty easy and so I put this monogram together with one other design from um, a website and um, so this is what I did I used a design and put the heart in for Valentine's because Valentine's is coming up and then I found that you can print it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it on this cute dress right here. Cute little dress right there. Okay and then I also found uh, I've been seeing people use this no-show poly mesh, and so I am gonna try this and see how this works. And so I found this, very expensive at the store I was at, but I find it cheaper, probably Elf's Player, but we were at a, a sewing, quilting, embroidery machine store, so you know, they're always more expensive. All right, and so then, you know, putting a design together, trying to figure out colors, um, we just started with some different things. I tried yellow, and then I tried variegated, didn't like it, and then here we go. This is the final um, design, and I think that looks very cute. I can't wait to get it done, okay? And so, as you can see, I like to reuse stuff to save on fabric and supplies, and so here we go. So. We are going to move just a little bit. All right. So here's my little dress. I do always, you know, like to iron things before I do them. And I do like to use uh, spray. I have gotten the 505 temporary adhesive spray. Um, don't want to use that, but I like to go ahead and turn them inside out. Lay it flat. Spray my backing that on the wrong side. I'll put that on the back side. Go figure. We want that on the front side. Well, let's try this again.
inside out. Okay. Take this, straighten it up again. Turn this out a little bit there. Fix, fix, fix. seams here and I also line up the underarm seams. Now I'm doing this, lay it out, put that in like this. And uh, I did get this blank from A and R B blanks. There's lots of cute little places. And then I'm gonna stick it about halfway in the center. Right there, because that's where I want to kind of line my tooth. And then you kind of, I printed this out. You could kind of take this in the center. It has a little center line in here. So you can fold it if you like and pin it on. And then try and get your hoop around that. Just kind of make sure that you like it where it's at. All right, so here's my hoop. I'm going to stick this in here, under here. Okay, there. All right, and of course, I've marked my hoops. There is a and then, you know, I kind of eyeball about where I want it. I'm going to put that back in there. Cut this guy up. Cut out my paper just a little bit so I can work with it just a little bit better. Trying to get some Valentine's designs yesterday. I had the week off, which is nice. There we go. There we go. So, then I am going to hoop a little bit above there. And you can tell that I'm kind of on the seam there. And I'm going to push my hoop up a little bit. Not where I want to be. Gently pushing underneath. And I'm trying to just kind of like same fingers in the same spots. Look again. That looks centered, but now I've got to come down with my hoop. the bottom in. There we go. That is, looks like it is centered. Okay. So, let's check. I like to check a lot. Yeah, looks good. Isn't that a little trick? Always learn this. If you 
you a hole with both arms up like this. And so you can see um, that it is straight. Because um, that was one of the things we were always doing in our factory. You know. And you could always measure down here, see how straight you are. So you are at about an inch. About an inch. So it looks good. I am going to take this off. And let's go ahead and line that up a little bit. And we need to go over to the machine. So give me a second here. All these lights kind of get in the way. So we're gonna bring over our machine, everything to the machine. Ugh. House is too small for what I'm doing, but that's all right. Okay, so now we have the machine here and I do have the design in there. Let's make sure that gets there, tighten it just a little bit. Okay. And then I check to make sure it's like a drum, which it's good there. Okay. So. Stick her on. Always make sure everything is cleared. And then. sure if you've moved your frame that you um, hit start set because it will go back to the original frame setting so you always anytime you do any changes you want to make sure that you hit start set because it's gonna keep going back to the original unless you set it okay so let's go ahead that I still do this with all the things I'm doing I put my little thing down, see where we're about to go. It takes me right to the top of the design, right there. Okay, I didn't like quite where the uh, Stop was so I'm resetting it because I think I almost had the design too high. So we're gonna do a float again. Oops, float again. watching but I didn't put my finger down so just double checking here to see where I'm at I think I am good right there so about a quarter inch between my thing and down here we're at about half inch so I think we are good to go there so we've already got it uh, sequence colored in and so we've gotten it all set up make sure you're always in the last one because if you hit OK, if you're on two, the last three sequences won't be um, in the thing. It'll, it'll erase them and you'll have to redo it. So always make sure your blue is at the very last color. Stop. All right, hit OK. 
ready to go, but we need to get topping. Here. Wash away salvi. And just put this on here. And you're ready to go. All right, so this has 10,000 stitches. But it, I think it's gonna be really cute when it's all done. And it was um, fairly easy to put together on the So What Pro program, because it's mostly for editing and <coughs> stuff. Right. Well, that's going. I'll kind of show you what else I put together on there. There's uh, one that I'm going to put on some shirts for kids. Here's another design I put together. Of course, these are my test run sheets. And here's one that I did and redid, but uh, it's gonna be really cute when it's done. All right. <laughs> Well, I did get myself a cart for Christmas over here, trying to have on wheels. So it's right there. That was one of my Christmas presents that I asked for. Very happy. Still not set up the way I want it, but I want to be able to have threads. I do have two machines, one half, uh, one needle. So trying to be efficient. There's Sandy barking at my daughter. She's stirring her up. So we will be starting a new year soon, so 
trying to get on top of things and get my game in. I do have the week off, and so I'm trying to get stuff listed on Etsy and stuff, trying to get some sales. Um, but it, it, it is time consuming for all of this because, you know, you got to get a design created. You have to um, test it. I always test everything before I run it because you don't know how well it's going to run or what it's going to look like. And so uh, those are things I like to suggest that you try. And if you are interested in a machine, I can uh, uh, get one ordered for you. I am a dealer here in my area. Well, Valentine, sweet Valentine, <laughs> won't you be my Valentine? But, you know, I was also watching something the other day. I do watch other people's videos so that I can learn as well. And, uh, they were talking about uh, how to price your stuff. And he recommended uh, also uh, figuring out how long it takes to do something. So if I did a design like this and it took 15 minutes, then you would be able to do for in an hour. And depending on what you wanna make an hour, so you wanna make $25 an hour, uh, then, um, you would charge accordingly to get that. So if you're wanting to make $40 an hour, so you could charge 15, 30, 40, whatever to get that. So I thought that was an interesting little tip. Okay, we are done with the white. We're gonna go back to the other pink again. That's one thing I enjoy about embroidery. It starts to come alive the more you get your design done. And that's what fascinates me so much is, well, all the things that we can do with embroidery and all the items that we can do. You know, I've seen a car mats done, you know, leather items and uh, just all kinds of stuff. Your imagination has no limits. All right. Well, Sandy, would like to say hello, everybody. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say hi? Can you look up here? Yes, girl. Say hello. Uh, 
I hope everybody has a blessed and happy new year. Um, but if you like the content and stuff, please like and subscribe below. Um, I get videos out as soon as I have time. I wish I had more time, but like, subscribe, share, help me grow my channel. Um, goal is to reach a thousand subscribers. Um, and thank you for watching and stay, stay, learning with me. All right. Let me put you down, puppy. I can't wait to see it done. Is it done yet? <laughs> now we have 7,000 stitches done out of 10,000. So, um, and a couple of videos that I need to uh, work on that have been requested, which I still, um, is hats. I have not done a hat yet. And, um, Patches, so those are some of the things we're gonna do in the future, so stay tuned. Eight thousand and counting. Eight thousand and fifty six. <laughs> I always laugh at myself. We got the flower down, and then we got the little bitty yellow dots and the A.
one too. Another tip I'm just thinking about is when you do resize designs, you gotta be careful because um, they don't always sew out the same after you've resized them. So that's one thing you gotta be careful about. We are starting the A. Woohoo! Only 9,868 stitches down. Just about done. Woohoo! It takes about 20 minutes, I think, maybe 15, to do that design. We are done. Isn't that cute? All right. So let's take this apart. Okay. So I'm going to pull this up here, pull this out, and see. I was worried that it might not sew very good. Um, because, you know, I've never used this before, but I think, I think it's got a good quality to it. Kind of pull the sticky stuff off. Away from, away from the fabric. Always watch what you're doing. And then just gently cutting around. Of course, I don't have very good scissors today. 
pick the worst pair. So. So here we go. Here it is. So we just need to get this off of there. Of course, you gotta pick those out and stuff, but I think that turned out really cute. So like and subscribe and share so that we can grow together. I need a thousand subscribers. Also, um, if you're interested in a machine uh, and you live here in Texas, I can hook you up. Well, I can hook you up anywhere in the U.S. But if you're in here in Texas, you want a demo, um, we can FaceTime, whatever. But my name is Lynn. I run Katie Lynn's Creations. And um, thank you for tuning in. Be blessed. And um, Happy New Year. Bye.